when a person is dealing with the anxiety and the stress of wondering if you're going to be okay, you know, there's so many psychological things that happen to you and, you know, there's no question. I was, I was short, I was frustrated, I was irritable, I, I uh, probably wasn't the, the father I wanted to be, I wasn't as patient or tolerant as I normally am, and you can't escape it, it's always there, it's just that nagging, annoying, toothache kind of pain that, that really ruins your life. My name is Robert Masson. I've been a lifelong athlete of all sorts of types. I, I went to college at the University of Florida. I grew up in Los Angeles. I played football in college. I've always been math science oriented. Ended up going to college in biomedical engineering. I applied for training in that, got it, and never looked back. I've been a, a neurosurgeon since 1995. I have a big family. I've got five kids, four boys, my little girl. Still do tons with my kids. Um, my oldest son, uh, he and I do a lot of sports together. You know, that's the glue to our family. We gotta burn our physical energy out somehow. You know, when, when my uh, spine journey began, it was kind of out of nowhere. I was on a trampoline with one of my kids and we were bouncing around and got kind of tangled in each other and I didn't want to crush him as I was coming down so I balked in the air to try to avoid landing on him and uh, in doing so I came down on my head and I had that god awful sickening feeling that people describe when you know you just did something you can't take back forever. Then it became more about the struggle. Sleep was probably the hardest. You know, I could never be comfortable. Like I'd wake up and my arm would be completely numb and dysesthetic. And uh, you know, I happen to be a microsurgeon and really messes with your sense of who you are when you can't feel your hand. But it got worse and worse and worse. And one day, you know, the the numbness and tingling wasn't just once in a blue moon and unexpectedly. It was constant. And decision point. I had surgery a few days later. as a patient uh, because I live pretty hard physically. You're gonna want an implant that you have total confidence is gonna be stable. And what I loved about ProDisc was the confidence of, of longevity, even in someone who's gonna put their body through the highest level of physical recovery and performance. I woke up about an hour and 15 minutes after surgery. Um, I was out of the hospital an hour after that in 100% relief of 100% of my symptoms. You know, by the second day, um, I had walked four to five times by the end of the afternoon, uh, multiple miles. Um, I had full range of motion. Uh, I felt so good. Probably the best run of my life, honestly, because, you know, it was over. A month later, I was finishing my month of convalescence, so I was with a good friend of mine. Uh, she asked me if I wanted to do Kilimanjaro with her on a cancer climb for Livestrong, and it was six months away, and I said, sure. So that became uh, my recovery goal. February 14th, uh, we found ourselves trekking up uh, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania with the Livestrong leadership team and several cancer survivors, and it was probably, in so many ways, one of the most incredible trips in my life. This is your life, and and you gotta take ownership of it. And uh, I think if, if you go in to that, not only is your team gonna do a better job for you, you're gonna re recover and, 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 and transcend it so much better than if you don't have that confidence.